Hello everyone, this is my first how-to video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to wrap your presents so that they look smart, but the paper can be either recycled or reused at the end. Uh, I run a creative business called Brightstem, where I sell recyclable wrapping paper and uh, greeting cards and other things like that. So I'm going to be using my uh, pack of wrapping paper for this video. I'm going to use a triangle pattern for uh, to wrap with and the greeting cards are going to be the uh, present that we're wrapping. Other things you might need include a ruler, pencil, some scissors, some thread for attaching the tag and some brown packaging tape. Now the brown packaging tape, don't switch off, it's not going to be visible at the end um, but it is great. It's great for two reasons. One is paper. So when you're recycling the recyclable wrapping paper you don't have to take all the bits of sellotape off. You can just throw it away. It's all paper, so that's great. The other thing is it's strong. So there's nothing worse than wrapping a, a present with some cheap sellotape and it's always coming loose. So if you get some decent packaging tape, you don't have that problem. So I'm gonna show you, like I say, later on how you hide it. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on there. Um, the other thing is I've got the cutting board. You don't need the cutting board. That's just me. That's how I roll. So we're good. Should we get going? Let's go. So the first thing you need to do is to measure the present up against the paper. So just roll the present over the paper and make sure you add a little bit extra and then draw a ruler mark. That's where you'll be cutting. You also need to make sure you've got enough at the top and the bottom. I'll be attaching this present at the back, so if I cut down the centre of the paper, that'll be more than enough for me. The next bit is going to be the folding and creasing, and this really helps the present look smart when it's finished. Also helps the paper keep the form of the present, so you're not fighting against the paper as much, which really helps. And in the next stage, when you fold in the corners in, you can get those more neat and tidy as well. So yeah, we're spending a little bit of time here, just trying to get it right. You're then onto the brown packaging tape. Uh, what you can do is cut off three strips, small strips, and then you get the first one and you loop it around, um, basically creating a double-sided tape. Uh, so I'll slow this down the next one just so you get a better idea. So you just loop it around, stick it back down, and then put yeah one in the each corner and one in the middle. Make sure you're putting the tape here on the inside of the paper, so when the person receives a gift, it's not going to be visible. And the next bit is the edges, so you're going to cut off three bits of tape again, and then fold them in so that the edge of the paper is at a 90 degree angle. And just try and get right into the corner there. And when you fold in, you crease in again. Um, just to keep it in position. Then you get the tape, wrap it round, and you're going to stick two at the edges, and you want to keep the first bit of paper pushed in whilst you're doing that. And then put another uh, one in the middle. You're then going to repeat these steps on the other side, but first you're going to pick a tag um, to put on. I'm going to use the triangle one as it's matching, but you can mix and match, it's up to you. Uh, you'll need some thread and you just cut that to the right length so it's the tags somewhere in the middle of the present when you're finished. And just before you fold over the final flap, make sure you've got the thread over the bit of tape. And Bob's your uncle. You have a present that looks super smart and the paper can be easily recycled or reused. If you do want to reuse the paper, the trick is just to take your time. You just got to ease the paper off and then one bit of tape at a time, uh, take it off. You might need the scissors sometimes just to help a little bit. And whatever you do, at some points you will get some of the uh, pattern that comes off. But that's, that's fine. Uh, the paper is still useful. Uh, and I reuse my paper for all sorts of things. So I'm going to put a few examples at the end of here of projects that I've done 
um, friends have done and customers have done uh, just to show you the range of things that's possible with the paper but yeah also intending to put up some new things in the not too distant future so yeah stay tuned for that hope this video was useful to you all and thank you for watching my first how-to video